Township Supreme Friendship Supreme Finding the Geek Within Hey everybody, my name's Michael. My name's Cleve. This is Stephanie. And welcome back to another exciting episode of Friendship Supreme <laughs> I thought, it, I thought a bomb was going to drop, but really it was like a firework. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Where the podcast is there now. Is there anything left to explore in the last great frontier? There is. Oh, uh, yeah? Sexy mooses. Sexy moose. <laughs> wasn't supposed to say sexy. It said 16 and it wasn't supposed to be a moose. How'd the moose get in here? I don't know. Moose can get in anywhere. <laughs> Uh, uh, we're talking about the show uh, The Great North. Well, first episode premiered in January, but the next episode is not going to be till February 14th. So I believe. Yeah. Suck it. Hope you like this first episode. She's going to just get to keep watching it. I, it almost feels like it was uh, the, like the old school days were like, hey, take this pilot. How do you like that? Is that good? All <laughs> right. We'll bring, we'll, we'll bring some more. Uh, it is a movie. It is a show about a family in Alaska. There is a father, a daughter, and one, two, three boys. Two boys. If I remember correctly. Two boys. Oh, three boys. Yeah, three total boys. Three boys. The sons, wife. If that's sons. confusing you guys. Oh, three sons. Yeah, three sons. Sorry. Three yep. sons. The I wife. I forgot about one. Uh, the fiance of one of the sons. The dad. And then the girl. The daughter. And then the dead mom. Who's a who's a black woman, which is pretty progressive. The dead mom? The the black woman. Oh, the dead mom's in Pencil Heaven. She is. <laughs> you think he, if there was a Pencil Heaven, do you think they'd be in the short stubby or would they be in their their original form? They wouldn't even be sharpened, bro. <laughs> All right. Anyways. Unused. Unused. Uh, just a completely unused pencil. That's where all the sticks go. The the pencils go that used to break when you were in school. Because mm. you thought that was cool. Did I? Mm. Were you there? Did. Everywhere. Oh, man. Stephanie, what did you think about the show? Um, It seemed like Nick Offerman just got to be Nick Offerman. Uh-huh. With a little bit of Parks and Rec Nick, Nick Offerman. Uh-huh. Including his... Um, wife she got to be there she did get to be there i wonder if that that was i wonder if you brought her in with a package deal i like to think like, that they're always a package deal yeah with the same kind of chemistry nick overman had in the parks and rec with his wife in that show too <laughs> they they are one of my favorite couples yes um i don't know it was only the first episode so it was kind of parts of it i liked they were funny and then other parts i was just like meh could have done without to me, it was a, it's got the same art style as Bob's Burgers. Mm-hmm. I don't know about writers or anything like that, but it definitely felt like a calm Burgers, which is odd because Bob's Burgers is already pretty calm. Mm-hmm. Sometimes it can get wild at most, like season finale. It did feel real calm. Yeah. I but think... A, go ahead. I, well, if we're going to compare it to Bob's Burgers, I think in Bob's Burgers, there's not a character that I don't love. Mm-hmm. And this one, I don't like Moon. I think Moon. Moon's the middle kid? Moon's the youngest. Oh, I don't like the middle kid. Ham. Ham, thank you. I was like, so far, Ham is kind of the The, most black character. The one that's like, I'm gay, and they're like, yeah, yeah, you've you've already come out to us before several times. I think he's trying to be Tina. (laughs) That was one of the parts where I was just like, did so you had to just come out and say you were gay? Like that that was a weird like introduction to that character. The first episode, you have to get you have to knock it out. I let mean it, you could have done it a different way. We don't have time for that. We have another story to tell. Fair. Yeah, we gotta sit on the roof and talk to Alanis Morissette for five minutes. That was brilliant, I Look, feel. <laughs> it was actually Alanis Morissette. Does that make you feel better about it, Stephanie? Well, no, Although- I didn't I didn't say it was bad. It, it was funny, it was weird. <laughs> And I was like, oh, and they got actual Alanis Morissette to play it. Here's what? my only hope is that 
she is a reoccurring character. Like, I, right. I don't, I don't need going. this to be a one-time thing. I need this to always be, like, her conscience that she speaks to for guidance. I Is it is it, like, a reference to the fact that they're in Alaska, so, like, they're behind on pop culture? Because, like, Alanis Morissette hasn't been a thing in 15 years? But... Who's watching these shows? It's not... You're not putting it on for, for Jameson. We're putting it on for us. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, this I shows... Guess. This shows... Uh, she's old enough and popular enough. And I guess wise enough. She did play God one time. She did. I, that's what I think it is. I don't think it's a... Yeah, she's old and... Un- it it would have been the same to me if they used Queen Latifah. It's still a strong name who was a strong woman, which I don't want to say was rare then, but she was. Alanis Morissette was really. I mean, she was no edgy for her time. No Sinead O'Connor. She didn't like rip up a picture of the Pope or anything. Well, that was just a a terrorist attack. But anyway, uh, (laughs) no, I mean the. She was a real stand up to your man type of woman. One of the first, I feel maybe Stephanie might have a different opinion on this. Oh, I didn't look. I, mean, I, I didn't know. look for a lot of female heroes. So, I mean, I wouldn't consider Alanis Morissette a female hero, but I didn't really. Uh... Could have been Macy Gray. I don't. I've oddly, I don't think enough people would know who Macy Gray is. Oh, they'd hear that voice. They'd know. I think I'm still a little too young to have Atlantis Morissette as my female hero. It, but it could I, be. It could be Alaska's. I mean, I, I guess the, I don't know. Atlantis Morissette's like the equivalent of Jewel to me. Like just a real bland vanilla. Like she's a crazy lady. She had a couple songs about ripping a man in half. That's fair. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I didn't know it. it. It was just funny to me. Like, that's what your kid is, you know. That's the one with Joe's, yeah. They could have been, I, you could have created a fake character. And they would have been like, oh, okay. But then who would you have gotten to voice him? Alanis Morissette? Yeah. Fair. If you were really sold on the Alanis Morissette thing, then yeah. Ah, the You Oughta Know song is the song that I was thinking that she was super right. I don't know. You remind me of a uh, <laughs> cross that I had to bear. You, you. Yeah. Okay. Anyways, I'm sorry that I made yeah. a good. Yeah. Was, uh, but you feel it now. No, huh? I mean, I like, that, yeah. That, I, I, that, I, I, that I had some good songs. I just like that. That what I imagine a 2021 year uh, year like 16 year old is like. Who can I go to wisdom? Oh, well, okay. Actually, you know what? Okay, here you go. Okay. If we're like looking at her as a wise like elder, I could see that. But yeah, like a sage. Yeah. She's my okay. she's my spiritual guide. Okay. I'm I would bored. I would pick a Lord's more said to be my child's godmother. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean it's better than the girl and godmothered. <laughs> anyway. I'm not gonna acknowledge that. Uh, um yeah. Cleve, what do you think about the show? I, I'm, I'm on board with the. I need more episodes because I need to know if you, if you can consistently give me this. If it's mm-hmm. the same writers as Bob's Burgers, I don't doubt that I'm gonna get the consistent laughs and whatnot. I wasn't laughing the entire time, but I had some good laughs in there. Mm-hmm. Like um, the 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 fur bikini was a weird <laughs> joke to throw in there. And the extensions were added on top of it? Yes. Um, the fact that they wanted to move to the guest house and that how big of a deal that was. And the whole mother in general was an outlandish joke. Uh, what if I told you about uh, willingly jumping into a steep cliff or whatever? <laughs> yeah, that was, that was good. That was funny. The, the moose. Of, uh, yeah. The wilder people. When they fell into the little ditch, mm-hmm. maybe the hunt for the wilder people. Did it also remind you of that, Stephanie? I still have not seen it. No, I didn't. But I, no. 
She knows what scene I'm talking about. But yeah, I know what he's talking about. She was it there. Didn't, it didn't remind me of it, but I, yeah, I know. What he's oh, talking. it was that scene. It was the same scene. Can we talk about these families' names because the dad's name is Beef. <laughs> Beef. I mean, it's Nick Goferman. And then we have Judy, Wolf, Ham, and Moon. Judy's so the only just, one that has like a normal. Did name? we just see things while we were in Alaska and name them after that? I mean, even the fiance is named Honeybee. Honeybee Shaw. I like her. She drove up from Fresno. Jules A. Sloan? Yeah, she's funny. I look forward to seeing her get to act out more in the show. Mm-hmm. Uh, Will uh, Forte is in it, which I enjoy. I always enjoy yeah. him. Not as shaggy, though. Oh, fair. Fair. Fair assessment. Um, no, yeah, I think that it was a okay episode. There are parts now while I'm talking with you guys, looking back, that were funnier now for some reason um, than when it happened. But I just don't, I really don't like Ham. Maybe they're supposed to be awkward. Like, I imagine that they're aiming for the awkwardness that Tina had. But, like, and am I going to continually compare this to that show? Because maybe that's the downfall to being the same art style. Can I? Yeah, I'm trying not to compare it to Bob's Burgers because Bob's Burgers is so like so good i've watched seasons and seasons of it right and i think that's the thing is that you have four kids five if you're going to include the fiance who are going to have to have different personalities they can't be louise they can't be gene and they can't be tina because i didn't get like tina's perverted vibes off of ham you know what i mean like and he didn't get i think the reason you did might not have liked him as much he didn't get a lot and that's why yeah i go back to the more episodes i'll definitely watch the whole season yeah i i enjoyed judy judy seems like well, i don't know but like judy seems like she's gonna be the main yeah she's funny uh jimmy the main character Jenny slate yeah see that's the thing with bob burgers bob burgers always hops around they don't have a main character anyone. like yeah you can be watching teddy for half an hour but this one also started on uh, Nick Offerman. So is, is Nick going to be the main? You know, like are they going to be able to switch off or is at it gonna some point the time the mom episode? Oh, for sure. Maybe season finale. Uh, I can he, only hope that it's played he tells by, them what, uh, that she died by a bear. Lisa Paul, yeah. uh, Leslie Paul, Leslie. No, who's who plays Leslie? No, Amy Poehler. Amy Poehler. Thank you. I can never fucking remember. Her <laughs> Leslie name. Paul. That's a stripper name. <laughs> You yeah, that, hope that's who it is. And that would be like the move that he would call in, like, hey, come do this with me. Because they do shows together. They did some crafting, crafting one show together. A good yeah. Show. I never it's a good show. watched it. You can't um, you can't get me in just because I know you, I like both of you guys. No, their interactions are pretty solid. Even though they're like normal people now, they're still pretty similar. And it was great. Um I think that the old the the fact that they're all older can make it a better vessel or vehicle for the plot, like for different storylines. Because uh-huh. we mm-hmm. don't have children, so we're not like well, we do, but we don't. We also have adults, right? So they're I think all be more excluding Moon. They're all of a pretty decent age. Yeah. I enjoyed that for her birthday, they all wanted to go on a boat and go fishing. Because um, Nick Overman doesn't like change. And or his character. I, I enjoyed the cake with the matches. It was a lot of fun. I, <laughs> These I, matches I, were supposed to light the fire, which we're going to light the candle, but I guess they're not going to do what they, they're telling me they're going to do either. Yeah, so Judy gets a job. And has to tell her dad that she's not going to be home on Tuesdays and Thursdays from, from three, three to three seven. To seven. <laughs> <laughs> you have eight hours sh- or eight hours of work a week. Like you're solid. And like everybody starts, not even everybody. Two other, one other secret comes out, and he's like just not able to handle it. They ha- what did they call it? A meat down? A yeah. beef down or something? I don't know. <laughs> Beef melt. Yeah, beef melt. But then they were like, <laughs> like uh, what is that? That sounds delicious. <laughs> he was like, just just 
fake that you got diarrhea. Can you do it now? And she's like, so they're trying to squeeze one out. I just got farts. Sorry. <laughs> I don't know. That was yeah, like like I said, telling it back now, I'm laughing more than I was when I was watching, which I think is weird. Yeah. But I watched yeah. it I watched it twice to really Yeah. So I could just initially watch it and then like really try to take it all in. I intend and on watching it again because I know Katie wanted to see it. I I I laughed. I left at some good parts. The scene I could have done without was uh Nick oh, Elf- that no, Nick oh. Offerman and uh, Megan Mullally the the, at the the sixty nine one. Mm. I was like, you just stop, please uh, just stop. Oh, that was great. <laughs> yeah, with that when I actually laughed audibly at that when it was happening. And you know what? That was what? that was one of Ham's better jokes. He's like, man, they really can't get this change down. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, I enjoyed that joke. It was just the they kept so it was funny, and then they kept going to the point where like, it wasn't it. funny, and they didn't do the thing where. You over like, you go until you're. It's funny. You go until it's not funny, and then go until it's funny again. They yeah. stopped before it got to the funny again, I was and gonna, then Ham I, made it funny. I was just about to say, I'm like, sometimes you can keep riding that joke, and it's so funny because it's not funny anymore. Yeah. So yeah, you're right. There's a there's a thin line to doing jokes like that. I think when he got to the point where he was like, "Oh, tell me again," was it was it sixty eight? <laughs> or 70 i was like okay 70? Please, huh? please just please stop <laughs> and it's what makes it great is now because i didn't recognize her voice you two did the fact that who it is doing it back and forth because i imagine them in the studio together That's, i just imagine them as um they've had that conversation Ron for- swanson and uh tammy tammy that's all I imagine. Like I see them yeah. doing the stupid. Like, remember the one time when she comes, they get married the second time, and she comes to the room, and he like starts doing like a bowl where he's like <laughs> charging up. To, yeah. No, I imagine that this is a real conversation that Nick and Megan have had before. Like yeah, they got I imagine they're seat. real weird in real life. I've have we talked to? I think I feel like I've brought it up before. The puzzle thing that they do. Yeah. They oh do yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. It's good stuff, man. I, I, I'm on. I think I'm on board. I definitely would like more, and it could easily fall off. But not even comparing it to Bob's Burgers, comparing it to animation domination. What is, is that? What they call it on Fox? Like Family Guy, American. Yeah, they're Family. they're animated adult shows. You have Family Guy. You have American Dad. I don't even know if American Dad's still on there. Oh. I think they went to TBS. Um, Bob's Burgers. This oh. one, um, there is others, but I think that this definitely has space to take over. I've I haven't seen a new Family Guy episode in fucking years. No. I haven't enjoyed Family Guy in a very long time. Stop watching Family Guy a long time ago. And the reason Bob's Burgers is so good is because they they made the point to say. It's all about small wins with this family. Yeah. That's what makes them enjoyable and entertaining. And this can definitely be like that, but completely different scenarios because we have the wilderness and the woods and the snow to deal with. Mm-hmm. And they're all different ages. And there's no like wife. Character. There's a certain time in the year where they fucking just live at night, right? Yeah. And the time of the year they just live in the day. I'm sure that's going to be somewhere in the story. Yeah, it's pretty far into Alaska, though. I don't know that necessarily. I don't just know where they are, though. Yeah, okay. uh, that's fair. They could be anywhere. I just mean, like, it's pretty far north into Alaska where that happened. But gotcha. you're you're right. That could play into There's a lot of things that play into it. And yeah, I mean, it, it's, it will be at least worth watching the first season for sure. Yeah. I think episode one, I give the thumbs up. Worth watching. Interested to see how it does in the long run. Are we going to get some, at some point in time a crossover? Would the Belchers go to Alaska? Oh, no. Well, maybe. Maybe they go on vacation. Maybe they go on another cruise. It's about time. Because Beef's not going to... Fair. What the fuck is their city? Thing? They're like on the. What they never said the city like, name, yeah. right? I don't, I don't, I don't think, think so. I don't think they ever said the name of the city. The only thing that I know of that they reference is the wharf. Yeah. But I, I don't think they've actually ever I always said the city name. I get like an name. east northeast feel to it, like uh, New York, New Jersey. 
I could see Jersey. Um, Except no accents. Fair. But uh, yeah, no, I could see Linda and. and That's Bob funny because I've always cruise. thought Callie. All right. Maybe. But I have no reference for it either. <laughs> I wait. guess with the fair, I can see New York being, or that area, I should say, Northeast. Yeah, I always imagined the wharf being like Coney Island. Right, right, right. But I guess it could also be like Santa Monica Pier. Yeah. Fuck Southern Coast? California. That's it's right. Who is listening? Fuck Southern California. <sighs> we lost two viewers. No, I'm just kidding. Come back. That's half of our viewers, Michael. Baby, come back. But yeah, no, I, I think it's definitely worth the watch. Um, let us know if you guys have seen it yet and what you guys think, or if you think. Uh, uh, beef Squatch will always be the reigning supreme. Uh, Is that the number one beef of the animation team? Beef Squatch! Uh, <laughs> squash, meat, uh, beef. beef. Is, that, is that how we meet that? Is like a beef mean? Uh, beef con? Beef con? And man. they both and they both misunderstand it. Oh man, that's the best. Um, <laughs> you guys can always let us know what you guys if you have any ideas for episodes or want to let us know what you thought you guys can always reach out to us on all of our social medias where are they Cleve? Uh, we have a Facebook we have an Instagram we have a Twitter they are all Friendship Supreme except Twitter has no eyes on the word friendship all eyes are typically on the YouTube channel where you can leave a comment what you thought about the episode and how Beef Quash and Beef would meet uh, you go to YouTube and you just search Friendship Supreme we are all over the place we also have a Patreon, which is patreon.com slash Friendship Supreme. Uh, not a shameless plug, but, you know, maybe check it out and uh, donate for some content. I'm in Michael. This is Cleve. This is Stephanie. And I told you I could ride a moose. Da-na-na-na. I can't do voices. Well, we have faith in you. Cover uh, your mouth and do it. I know you're embarrassed. Uh, uh, Cover your mouth. Gather yourself. I can't do I can't do voices at all. You like, got it's, this. It's we bad. believe. Well, I mean you you could pass the little boy's voice. <laughs>